science is everything. Science is how society accomplishes being a society. Science is how everything gets done. It's how we move forward. It's how all our products get built and made better. We wouldn't be anywhere if we didn't have scientists constantly asking, how does this work? Can I make that? Can I make this better? Science is everything. Even in high school, I knew I wanted to be an astronaut, but I had no idea what it took to be an astronaut. There's no one path to get to where I am today. Some people are scientists, some people are engineers, some people are medical doctors, some people come from the military, because what we need as astronauts are people that can do a lot of different things. We need lots of diverse people and we need diversity within a single person. My name is Shannon Walker and I am a NASA astronaut. I was actually born and raised in Houston. And so having the Johnson Space Center in my backyard always stoked that interest for me because I was always aware of what we were doing and what was going on. And I spent about six months in space in 2010. Um, my ride to and from the space station was on the Soyuz spacecraft. And I was actually trained as the co-pilot on there. So I spent a lot of time in Russia training and understanding, learning how to fly that spacecraft. We will wake up in the morning, overnight, the control centers have, have uplinked a schedule to us and what they want us to do that day is what we do that day. And it could be maintenance, it could be science, it could be rearranging the space station, it could be dealing with stowage, it's just whatever the ground needs to accomplish. And so you do a little bit of everything in space. And I remember very distinctly for about the first month that I was in orbit, I would wake up almost every night feeling like I needed to turn over. But that doesn't do any good in space, and so you just sort of shuffle around a bit and go back to sleep. You know, we live on the space station, and it's kind of a working laboratory. We've got a bunch of laboratories where we go to work, and we've got places we sleep, and we've got places we eat, and we've got places we exercise, and so you just have a life that happens to be in space, and when you're in space, you don't feel the effects of gravity, so you get to float around all the time. Living in space is easy, coming back, it's pretty hard. You have lots of aches and pains because you haven't uh, walked around for a long time. I mean, you float in space, and so we do a lot of exercises that keep us healthy, but you haven't sat down for a long time, so it gets uncomfortable to sit down for long periods of time because your body's not used to it. Since being an astronaut, I think I've gotten a little more outgoing because it's, I need to, to spread the word on what NASA does. It's really neat to see all over the world there's people with the same passions that you have and we're all working for a common goal so it's not just NASA, it's the whole world and so learning the le language is hugely important because you can't really understand people and culture unless you can understand their language. We're still in such early stages of the human spaceflight era. Um, we're starting off relatively slowly but I think as time passes, we will just get more and more people and countries into space and I think ultimately we will be truly a space-faring world. We will be going to other planets and establishing bases and other places to live. I think that is where we're going to end up. Mm -hmm.